Welcome back everybody, Guns, Ammo, and Drones here. All right, this is part three of my three-part SIG M17, the P320 review. I finally got to shoot it a lot more today. Uh, the video that I took last, uh, last week or two weeks ago didn't turn out all that great. So I went to the range today. I will apologize ahead of time because the range is not very well lit and I probably should have remembered that. I just got back from the range about an hour ago and shot the crap out of this thing and it performed flawlessly. Um, I'm still getting used to the SIG Romeo and it wouldn't matter what sight I, I put on here. I just happened to really like the SIG Romeo. It was half the price of the Delta Point and as you can see, it does not require a mounting plate. It actually secured right to the gun with no issues. Sorry, it's not a focus, but I had no problems with this thing. Uh, and surprisingly, I put a couple hundred rounds through this and I'm really impressed with how the PVD coating kind of kind of withstood a lot of the a lot of the torture that I gave it today. Uh, in the other two videos, I talk about what I think of this uh, this PVD coating being dog shit because basically when I got the gun, it came in with a bunch of scuffs already. As a matter of fact, if I hit it at a certain angle, you can see some of them. And, and these scuffs were already on the gun prior to me even taking it out of the box. So I was kind of disappointed in, the, in those regards. Um, for something, there you can see the, the scuffs on it already. Uh, I still love the gun, don't get me wrong. Um, and but this thing this thing shot great uh, I will attach some shooting videos again um, to the end of this one to wrap out the three part I will definitely be shooting this one again I'm gonna try to find an, a good outdoor range uh, down here in Florida uh, that's fairly close and and uh, and do some outdoor videos a little bit um, but other than that the gun shot great the the slide held up pretty good I do still think it's dog shit um, but it didn't, considering how many rounds I put through it, 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 it didn't get all, all turded up like on some of the other videos you guys might see on, on, uh, YouTube when it comes to this gun. Um, the, um, the, uh, the slide, or not the slide, but the, uh, but the Romeo has a little bit of, a little bit of, of uh, fogging in it. And that's just from some of the blowback that happens right here where the loaded chamber indicator uh, gets pushed up, I'm assuming. Uh, other than that, it held up pretty good. Let me see if I can clean off just with my shirt. And it cleaned right up. It was not very dirty at all. Uh, the light didn't even get dirty, surprisingly. So it's back far enough though, I believe. Anyway, <laughs> the gun was great. Uh, I couldn't have been happier with it. These, uh, it did come with three mags. I've got two tw uh, 21 rounds and one 17, and the 21 round mags cycled flawlessly. The gun cycled flawlessly. Um, I did run brass and steel in this gun, and there was one shot on one of the mags, one of the very last shots that I that I ran the steel through it, um, that it made kind of like a weird sound. It, it kind of sounded like I got a squib load, so I had to pull it apart at the range and, and make sure that the that the bullet wasn't still inside the, the barrel. Um, but I will totally attribute that to it being just cheap steel, steel ammo. I'm gonna try not to do steel ammo anymore in any of the pistols. Um, just because some of the stuff that I've, that I've bought recently, um, it was crap, it was some Walmart steel. I believe it was the USA Forged. I'll never buy it again. I'll still run steel throughout my AR, my AK, uh, no problem. But as far as pistols, it's strictly brass from, from here on out. So anyway, I'll attach the video here to the end of this and I uh, hope you guys liked the video. I really had fun talking about this gun and uh, I was really, really happy to get this. You know, our, our US military carries this gun. I was never really a, a Sig Sauer person. Um, and I think that was probably just lack of shooting it, lack of holding it, lack of knowledge with the company. Um, 
do I still think that this one here is the best pistol that was chosen for the U.S. Army? Um, I, I don't, I don't know. You know, um, I would have liked to have seen Glock get it. I'm still pretty much a Glock fan, as you can tell. Uh, it's hard to find a SIG shirt that I like, or I would have one on right now. Um, as far as the, the whole mod, modular thing, you know what? I, I don't really, I don't really get it. Uh, to be honest with you, even the, here, let me get out in here. Even the Smith and Wesson M and uh, P 2.0. Now I don't have the the uh, the tan one, the five inch the one that was in the, the MHS trials. Um, but I think it would be so much easier just to change out this little palm swell and adjust it to fit your hand, you know, as opposed to switching out the, um, the whole frame itself. I don't know. All I know is, is that I really like the gun. If it wasn't for, for the army choosing this particular gun, I might not have gotten into guns with the the slide, the, the Glock MOS or or even some of the other Smith & Wessons that have the, the cutout for the red dot. Um, I actually did pretty good with the red dot today. I have this thing uh, zeroed in, uh, fantastic. Now this is the 2.5 MOA. I'm perfectly fine with that. You know, the funny thing is, if you don't know anything about these, these red dots, when you hold it up to your when you hold it up and you look at the dot, it's real tiny. But the farther you get away and you start looking at that dot, the dot gets bigger. So it magnifies when you finally have your your gun all the way out uh, with your arms extended. Um, so the so the two point five m this might be the three MOA. This one here, this three MOA is perfect because it magnifies to a, a bigger dot than the other version, which is the six or the six and a half MOA, which. I initially had, but I sent it back because the dot was just way too big. I like this 3 MOA. I think most of you probably would like it uh, on the pistol. Um, so anyway, stick around. I'm going to attach a video to to the end of this one, and we're going to shoot this a little bit. I only got a couple, a couple uh, angles, so when I find a good range for outdoor shooting, then I'll do some more shooting with it. So. All right, guys. Well, we will see you later. Thanks for stopping by.